Greetings all and welcome back to the channel for another informal tech talk in regards to the upcoming Miu Mini Flip. Um, just a quick disclaimer here, I don't know anything more about a release date at this stage yet than anyone else knows. I will only be sharing what we know thus far. So if you don't know anything about the Miu Mini Flip, this video is definitely for you. And if you do know everything about it, let me know in the comments what you think. And obviously this all originated about a year ago with this image that was released, a rendered image of a very pastel colored Miu Mini Flip. It's very otherworldly, but to be honest, I quite kind of like it. It's very soft on the eyes. And uh, you will also notice that it has analog sticks, which the Anbenic RG35XX SP and the PowerKDB90, which is all the other two clamshell handouts that is available currently, does not have. So this tells us that they, this little unit should be able to play N64 and Dreamcast games. And it kind of gives you a clue about what kind of processor it will have, but a little bit more on that later. Let me show you the other color options that are available as well. So once again, this is rumored, not confirmed as yet. I will leave links to all of the Reddit informational pages on my description as well, so you can go and check it out yourself. But it looks like we might be getting a Pikachu yellow or gold, which is quite nostalgic, and I'm quite sure a lot of people would like that. And we will be getting a, or hopefully will be getting a black and gray with a lime green, which I personally love very much. I think this looks quite cool. And we've got a silver, classic silver, with the color ABXY buttons. Um, so I'm sure a lot of people would like that. Very nostalgic as well. So when it comes to the internals on this unit, on this Reddit thread, we've got a screenshot from somebody who is actually talking to Miu support and Miu confirming that it should have a Rockchip 3566 processor, which hopefully will run at 1.8 gigahertz, if we're not mistaken, and should have 1 gig of RAM. Uh, which means that it should run N64 and Dreamcast games. You may need to tweak one or two of them, and there may be some of them that will not run quite well. Uh, but yeah, that's more or less what we know about the internals on the unit. It will hopefully be released at the end of July, according to this Miu Mini Stock Alerts thread on X, uh, but Miu has already pressed this date back once or twice, so this may or may not happen. And then we've got this little video on the same page of the black and lime green unit, which gives you an idea of what it would look like from different angles and also brings up the first problem that we will quite possibly have with the unit upon release is that it will only come with stock firmware from you. Uh, a lot of people liked the community developed firmware called Onion OS, which is available for the Mew Mini Plus. It apparently adds quite a lot of functionality and features to the unit, makes it very user friendly. Unfortunately, this will not be available for the flip upon release. There's no confirmation that the Onion OS team will even make work of developing for the flip at this stage yet. That may change. But if you're an enthusiast that likes Onion OS on the Mew Mini Plus, just be aware it will probably not be available for the flip upon release. And that brings us to the last consideration of my discussion today is the price. Current Mew Mini Plus is available for around $50 on AliExpress, $52. If uh, the Miu Mini Flip can come in at around 60 to give a little price difference for those analog sticks, I would definitely be willing to look at it. Uh, I think having those analog sticks is better than not having them. Something like the 35XX SP from Anbenic does not have them and it's available for 60 or $50 depending on which third party seller you buy from. It is quite an awesome unit from what I've seen. It is a bit bigger so it should be more comfortable. Uh, but we would really only be able to compare the two once the flip is out. Let me know your opinion in the comments and what you think about it. That's it for this video today. Trying to keep it intentionally short to make it a true tech update. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.